Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. May God bless you all, my people. Hmm. Everywhere does scatter. A few days from now, Nigerians are going to choose their president. And with this, we will not know whether we they go front or back we they go. You understand? With the decision that will be taken by Nigerians on Saturday, 25th February, then we will not know whether now front will they go. I be we still they go back, 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 deep back. Okay. Nigerian cleric, Pastor Enoch, blogs critics on Twitter who reacted to his open endorsement of Peter Obi. A picture of Peter will be Enoch and Bishop David Oyedepo, the founder of the Living Faith Church worldwide and presiding bishop of the Faith Tabernacle in Arta, Ogun State, was posted on the Twitter handle of Pastor Enoch. Wait, I beg, I want to ask this question. Why people they quarrel say pastors they endorse a presidential candidate? Are these pastors not Nigerians? Okay, because they are pastors, they not get anything to talk concerning what is going on in Nigeria. So the situation in this country is not affecting these pastors. It's really very funny to say that whatever a pastor does or say, people could just carry out for head. What is wrong if he endorses Peter B or any other candidate? This is something your choice. And if I endorse Peter B, what is your business with my choice? Why are we taking this like this? Because he's a pastor. Now they endorsed Peter will be the, the Nigeria wants to crumble. Why? Why are they finding it like he don't commit one kind of sin because he endorsed Peter will be anybody that endorsed Peter will be they saw something in him. That is why they are endorsing him. So I don't see why people should be, you know, shouting that these pastors are endorsing Peter will be or whatsoever. Anyway, guys, let's quickly hit the news and get the full details. But before then, if you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Dr. Paul Eneche, the founder and the senior pastor of Dynamis International Gospel Center, has blocked some, some of his critics on his Twitter handle, Dr. Paul Eneche, following his Taxis endorsement of the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi for the 2023 presidential election. A picture of Peter Obi, NHA, and Bishop David Uyedepo, the founder of the Living Faith Church Worldwide and presiding bishop of the Faith Tabernacle in Arta, Ogun State, was posted on the Twitter handle of Pastor NHA. He wrote under the picture, this picture is speaking volumes right now, especially in this season. What do you see? What can you hear? Are you in doubt of the way to go? The way of integrity? Authenticity? Honesty? Sincerity? Simplicity? Humility? Capacity? Productivity? Here is the way to go. Hashtag Elections 2023. Why the picture generated thousands of reactions for and against Dr. Enoch? Enoch blocked only those who were a critical of his open and soft endorsement of Peter Obi. One of the Twitter users who commented on his timeline wrote, You are one of the few pastors that speak against bad governance and take a stand when others haven't Heard God speak. God bless you, Dr. Pastor Paul Idoko Eneche. And God prospered Dave, Daddy David Oyedepo and other pastors talking. A man's word, he definitely speak against Christian. Christian, Christian. Okay. Another person said, soft. 
who posted tweet blocked by a nature wrote a very short story. He also wrote in a campaign picture of Atiku Abubakar and Peter Obi in 2019 presidential election. This is not integrity. It's all pretense and lies, he said. Someone said, I think the next chapter will start on Tuesday. They will accuse one another of rigging the election. Lawyers are about to make money over election petitions. Obi that favors only Catholics in Anambra has found time to visit all the Christian denominations in order to secure the Christian's vote. Pastor, we got your message. We do as it please us on Saturday. Don't drive them crazier than they already are. Then go exploit like Biafran bomb. As long as I don't end up as their dinner, it will be final. Yes, and the explosion of the Biafran bomb will kill your useless generation. Reactions are getting tough. Foolish, foolish Amino, or whatever useless name you called yourself, you will do as it pleases you, not we. Okay, talk. Ah, uh, these are, let me just stop. These are reactions by Nigerians, my people. You see this issue that is on ground. People are saying, no, Peter will be his BFR agitator, this and this and that and all that. But why is it that they don't leak Atiku Abubakar to bandits and Boko Haram? Oh, they don't have that in the notes. Why is it that they don't leak um, Bola Tinubu to agitators in the in the West, the Yoruba agitators? Maybe we they tell ourselves the truth now. You see the reason why they are agitating in the Southeast? Everything about the Igbos are just different. Then go take them. People go take them to the extreme, whatever. This is wrong. If you look and true, true, you know for your mind, say, now let Peter will be go feed do this thing. So why? Anyway, none of us did this country. We did it on the 25th of February, which is on Saturday, Nigerians decide. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for always coming out here. Bye for now.